do you imagine? What is this memory? It's my house in, that I grew up in. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to see yourself there and tell me how old you are. I'm two years old. Mm -hmm. What's happening around your house today? Are you alone or with others? I feel like I'm alone. Mm -hmm. My mom is doing something else. Mm -hmm. And it's our old house. Tell me how you're feeling there. I feel alone, mm -hmm. but I like being inside the house. Mm -hmm. So as you're in that house, I'd like for you to use your heart, use your energy to connect with that, uh, that house. And tell me what it is that you feel from that house. That makes you feel so good. I feel warmth. Mm -hmm. I feel... Like the house cares for me. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with that house. That house has consciousness. It has a voice. What does the house tell you? I'm here to protect you. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing you grow. I see when you're sad. It's okay. What is this house teaching you? That I can always find a place where I am going to be safe. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as you feel the comfort of that home, it's almost like a womb keeping mm -hmm. you protected. Yeah. So we're going to go now even farther back to find out why you chose to be in this place. I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, I will touch your forehead. And we're going to go to another memory impacting this life. Taking a deep breath in now. Five. Traveling through time and space to another memory. Four. To a time impacting this life. Three. Two, allowing the images to come. And one, be there now. Where are you? I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to turn on your other senses. You don't need to see where you are now. Turn on the other senses and feel your way around you. What does it feel like to be in this place where you are right now? I feel a breeze. Mm -hmm. Very good. I feel like I'm in a forest. Mm -hmm. Allow your senses to guide you. I feel like there's a path that I'm walking down. Mm -hmm. Imagine this. Allow the images to fall into place. I see a lot of trees to my left mm -hmm. and grass to my right. And it's very pleasant. It's very nice. I like it here. Mm -hmm. In this place where you're walking, do you have a physical body? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a look down and see what's walking on that path. Down at your feet. Hmm. 
I'm barefooted. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of these feet. Are they small or large? And they're like not too small, but not too big. Mm -hmm. Are these male or female feet? They're male. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to acclimate into that body completely. Feel yourself looking through the eyes of that body. And let's see what it is that you're wearing. I'm wearing pants. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. And a button-down shirt. My pants are like gray. And the button-down shirt is like an off-white. Mm -hmm. And I'm just walking down this pathway. So as you're walking, take a look at your appearance. What do you look like? What does your face look like? I have short hair. Mm -hmm. And it's... It's like dirty blonde mm -hmm. hair. I feel, I feel like I feel strong. I feel thin. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could jump and run. Like I'm very capable in this body. Mm -hmm. How many years have you been in this body? 17. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see where it is that you're going to. Where does this path lead? I see a house at mm -hmm. the end, mm -hmm. but I can barely see it. It's hiding behind like trees as I walk. Mm -hmm. The trees are like hiding it, and then it's like, then I see it again. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to be at that house now. What does it look like? I see a table. Mm -hmm. And there's chairs around it. It's, it's like... It's dark inside. In the kitchen, there's like bread on the table. Mm -hmm. What is? Do you, what do you feel from this house? I feel like I live here. All right. So let's close the scene and go to a time in that house when you were eating a meal. Be there now. Look around you. I see I'm eating soup. Mm -hmm. Like a hearty soup. There's and bread. I'm having bread with it. Mm -hmm. The soup is good. Take a look at this table and see if anybody is there with you. Do you feel the presence of anyone else? They come and they go. I don't... Mm -hmm. I see them and then they fade. But I see myself there. Mm -hmm. And I see other bodies, but they don't stay there long, or they... I don't know what they look like. Mm -hmm. It's like, they come in and then they just walk out. Mm -hmm. They sit and then they just go. They're like shadows. Mm -hmm. Are these shadows that live in this house with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's find out if those shadows ever lived in that house before. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, we'll see if any of those shadows lived in that house before. Taking a deep breath in now. Three. Going back now. 
two and one. Be there now. Just your first impression. What do you sense? I sense an older man. Mm -hmm. He's very old. You'll understand who this man is. Who is he to you? I feel like he's my grandpa. Mm -hmm. He's very angry. What's happening right now? Connect with the moment. Let's find out why he's angry. Something happened outside. Something happened mm -hmm. outside of the house and he's walking in. He's very mad. Very let's, upset. Let's find out what it is that happened. There is some kind of discussion mm -hmm. with the other people in the village. What is the discussion about? What's happened? I don't know, but they're, he's not going along with them. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to... I feel like it's them choosing someone, mm -hmm. and he doesn't want to choose him. He doesn't see him as a good guy. Mm -hmm. Now, who else is in your family besides your grandfather? My grandma. I see her there. Mm -hmm. And they're arguing. Well, he, my grandpa is just very upset. Mm -hmm. How is that making you feel? I feel numb. Mm -hmm. I feel cold. I feel like I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. Like I can't move. feel very heavy. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body and see what's going on with you. I'm sitting there in the table and I want to run away but I can't. Mm -hmm. I want to, I'm afraid of my dad seeing me. Mm -hmm. Let's find out more about the rest of your family. Let's continue to search and see what's going on with the rest of your family. Taking a deep breath in now. Three, two, and one. Understanding everything now. What's happening with the dynamics of your family? Everyone's so angry. Mm -hmm. Who else do you see there now? I see a lot of people coming in and out of the house. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to slow down that scene. Slow them down and see who they are. I see my brother. Mm-hmm. an older brother. Who else is there? My... It's my dad. Mm -hmm. And everybody's upset. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's find out what happens. What happens next that affects your life? I'd like for you to go to close this scene, and now let's go to that next scene where you find out the results. What happened? They shot my dad. And everybody's very, very mad, very angry. Mm -hmm. They want to go out there and look for the guy that shot my dad. Mm -hmm. I want to go out there too. So let's see what happens next. Follow this. My mom is taking care of my dad, but I go out with my brothers. And as we go out, everybody's talking to us and telling us different stories of how it happened. And they're saying that it's one of the other family member, like another family. And they're telling us, don't go, leave it alone. Leave it alone. How does that make you feel? I'm angry. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can't do anything. I feel like I just want to hurt someone. I want to cry, but I can't. I feel very sad. But my brothers are there and I can't cry. I feel betrayed by the village. All right, so let's close that scene and let's move forward in that lifetime to when something else happens. Be there now. Now I'm on the field. Mm -hmm. I'm riding a horse. Mm -hmm. What do you do there in that field? I grow. There's crops and I, I tend to the crops. Mm -hmm. Do you do this by yourself? I do this with my brothers. Mm -hmm. We're all there and our horses. How do you like what you do? I like it a lot. I like being out. I like being in the fresh air. Mm -hmm. I like my horse and I like the dogs that come with us. I like this. I like that. So I'd like for you to feel that feeling. Feel that feeling of doing what you love, loving what you do, and connecting with nature. Bring that sense in. Feel yourself grounded with it. Let's find out if there's anything else that you need to know from this moment, what happens next? Remember to always go out with the trees. Mm -hmm. Remember to always go out, look up the sky. That is where you're the happiest. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close this scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Your last day. Be there now. And tell me where you are. I'm laying in my bed. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 86. Mm -hmm. And as you are on that bed, take an account of your life. Feel it. I feel like I lived a long 
life. I did a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I liked my life because I was always outside. Mm -hmm. Take a look around you and see if there's anybody with you on this last day. I do see a lady there. Mm -hmm. She's sitting next to me and she's just watching over me. Who is this lady? Do you recognize her soul? I think she's my wife, but I don't see her face. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. I feel like she cares for me. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to take your last breath in that lifetime, disconnecting from that body. And as you are floating away from that body, tell me what happens. What do you see? I see a light. Mm -hmm. It's bright. Mm -hmm. I like it. So allow yourself to drift towards that light. Drifting and floating to that light. Hmm. And as you reach that light, what happens? I feel good again. Mm -hmm. And now that you've left that life behind, what was the purpose of living that life? To be with nature and to learn to love mm -hmm. and to learn to live with nature. Did you do that? I did. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any lessons from that life? Even though hard times come, things aren't permanent. Mm -hmm. And I hear this message of just go out into the trees, the trees will take care of you. Mm -hmm. The trees will guide you. Very good. So I'd like to ask, how is it that that lifetime is affecting the lifetime of Maria? She needs to remember that everything passes. She needs to go out into nature more. She needs to go for walks. When she, mm -hmm. when she goes for a walk, the trees take in all of that junk. Mm -hmm. And she gets, she leaves feeling better. And she knows this, but she forgets. So why does she need to be reminded of that now? What's happening now in her life? She feels like she's going through a lot. Mm -hmm. And she's putting a lot of things on her plate. And we just want to remind her to take the time to slow down, to go to the trees, to go for a walk in nature to come and slow down. She doesn't need to be in a rush. She doesn't need to hurry. She doesn't need to do everything all at once. Everything will come. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about what is it that she's supposed to be doing right now and what's blocking her from succeeding. As you take this moment to pause, we're going to travel through time and space to find out what is causing the blockage 
in her ability to speak her truth. I'm going to count from five back to one and let's find out the origin. Taking a deep breath in on five. Going through time and space. Four. To the origin of fearing her own voice. Three. Back to the origin of when this began. Two, allowing the images to come now. And one, be there now. What is this memory? I see her speaking in front of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a, a dress, a skirt, a long dress. Mm -hmm. And she's warning the people about something, I don't know what. That's and they're funny. listening. Mm -hmm. I have their attention. I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely into that body now. Feel yourself slipping into that body being able to see out through those eyes, understanding the circumstances and the situation that's making you speak to this group. I feel like I'm saying don't trust them. Mm -hmm. Don't trust them. They're here to harm us. Let's find out who it is that you don't trust. See the images in your mind. Who's coming? Who cannot be trusted? I feel like it's the people that are coming to collect money. Mm -hmm. And I want them to all come together and not give them money. But they're scared. They're scared of getting attacked. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling them, no, it's okay. If we stand together, we're stronger. So let's go even deeper now and let's find out what it is that they're collecting money for. Go even deeper. See it in your mind's eye. They're like thugs, they just want money. Mm -hmm. They want to intimidate the town so that they have money. They just, just they just want to steal it. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to see what year this is. See it in your mind, right there. Oh, yeah, 1786. Mm -hmm. And look around you and see where you are. What is this place? It's a village. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of trees. And I see I'm in the center of town. And I, we hear them coming. We hear them coming and I'm telling them, don't, don't. Mm -hmm. Don't give them money. What is your role in this town? I'm just a villager. I don't... Mm -hmm. But they listen to me, mm -hmm. but I can see the fear in their eyes. So as you speak to this group, what do you do to them? They see that it's a possibility to not 
-hmm. give them money. Mm -hmm. They have hope with you? They do. All right. So let's see what happens next. Close that scene and let's see what happens. Be there now. We're standing up to them. Mm -hmm. But they intimidate us and they're yelling at us. And I feel like they have weapons and everybody's getting scared. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I'm telling them, don't, don't, don't be, don't, just don't give in. Oh, and one of them takes me. And I feel like he wants to cut my throat. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to switch positions and just see it as an outsider. Look at the scene and what happens next. Yeah, one of them took me, He's separating me from the rest, and I see his knife. And I can't stop talking, I don't stop talking. Mm -hmm. And he tells me if he don't, if I don't stop, he's going to cut my throat. And I don't care. I'm still talking yelling, telling him it's not fair, they can't take our money, it's not right, and I hear somebody say just do it, uh, yeah he did it. So release yourself from that body completely? Mm. And now you can see it from a different perspective. I'm what laying on the ground now. Mm -hmm. And I see the blood coming from my neck. What's going on in your mind as you're watching this? Watching your body bleed? <laughs> I think to myself, I shouldn't have spoken. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have said anything. I should just let them take our money. And I can see the villagers. They give them money and now they're so scared. And they're sad because I I think they now know that I'm dead. And there's terror in their eyes. And as you look at this scene, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel sad. Mm -hmm. Makes me regret saying anything. Mm -hmm. Because now they're in more fear than they were before. Mm -hmm. So your role as a leader yeah. backfired. Mm -hmm. I didn't help them. I didn't protect this village. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to leave that body behind and let's see where this soul goes next. Where do you go after you leave that body? I feel like it roams and roams out with the trees. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? I don't feel like it wants to go yet. It feels like she still wants to help. Mm -hmm. She was not ready to leave. Keep going. Keep following this life. She's still, yeah, she's still here. Mm -hmm. She wants to follow these guys and don't have them come anymore. Mm -hmm. But she also doesn't want to leave the village. So let's follow the progress of that soul and see if she ever trans forms into the light. I feel like she sees it. Mm -hmm. She just says, not yet, not yet, give me time. Mm -hmm. Give me time. So as we're giving her time, let's find out 
how she connects with Maria. When does she connect with Maria? I'm hearing two when she's two years old. All right. So let's find out where it is she's attached to this child. Mm. feel her in my throat. All right. So I'm going to take my hand over that throat. I'm going to bring that entity up and let's speak and give her a voice. Good evening. You there in the throat. What is your name, please? Angela. Angela. Angela, how old are you? Like 32, 33. Mm -hmm. Angela, what happened to you? They cut my throat. Mm -hmm. And you were silenced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why, Angela, did you not go to the light? I wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're doing now? Inhabiting, attaching to this body. I want to protect her. Mm -hmm. What are you protecting her from? I want to make sure that the same thing doesn't happen to her as it did to me. Mm. So Angela, why is it that you think that she would do this? That she would get into this trouble? Because she has a lot to say. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that when she was a little girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing, Angela, all this time? I stop her from speaking. Mm -hmm. I want to protect her. Protect her from getting her throat cut? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she hanging out with the same thugs? No. Mm -hmm. So what makes you think that she's going to get herself in trouble? I don't know. I just want to protect her. Mm -hmm. What else have you been influencing her on? I just don't let her say much. Mm -hmm. I don't let her express. And when she doesn't express herself, how does that make you feel, Angela? It makes him feel like I'm doing my job. Mm -hmm. I'm protecting her. Mm -hmm. But see, Angela, Maria has free will. She came here to speak her voice just like you did. You were able to speak out. You were able to express what you had on your mind. You're not even letting her do that. Is that fair? No. No. What is it that you need, Angela, to make you feel better? I just want to feel safe. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Angela, we're going to feel that safety now. Inside of your heart, there's a little spark. This is the spark that created you. This is the God spark. And I want you to connect with that spark now. The spark was always there, even when they sliced your throat. I see. All right, now make that light bigger. And tell me, does that light feel safe? It does. Mm -hmm. Feel the love of that light. I feel it in my chest. Mm-hmm. So now that you feel safe, Angela, would you like Maria to forgive you yes. for trying to only help her? 
go ahead and tell her. I'm sorry. I just wanted to protect you. I don't want you to go through what I went through. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Maria, do you forgive this woman, Angela, for wanting to keep you intact and safe? I do. Mm -hmm. And understanding I do. that by keeping you muzzled, it was just because she didn't know any better. Can you feel that love? I do. All right. So now we're going to see where it is that Angela is connected to you, and I'd like for you to look for those cords and cut those cords. Feel those cords being cut. And now, Angela, as you're cut away, feel yourself becoming brighter and brighter. Feel that light taking you over completely. And are you ready now? Yes. And, all right. We have to do something else. You cannot continue on your journey without forgiving those that took your life. So, Angela, I want you to go through time and space and find out who those were. Who was the one who cut your throat? It was my brother. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive him? Mm -hmm. So now, with that love in your heart, you can now take that same light and send it to that head, that neck, that had the neck sliced. You can heal it with your light. Heal that throat. And tell me what happens as you send it light. I feel like my throat is coming together now. Mm -hmm. It's not apart. Very good. And now that your throat is not apart, your neck is healed, I'd like for you to go through the top of her head right here. And Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you see him. I see him. What does he tell you, Angela? This is calm, Angel. Beautiful. So, Angela. Go with Michael and may the light of the universe always accompany. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So I'd like for you now to allow Archangel Raphael, the healer, to send his beautiful green healing light into the neck of Maria. And as that light goes all through that area, feeling it being healed and released, allowing that chakra to begin to spin properly, allowing the communication to go in and out. Feel it energized. And tell me how that feels. Feels good, it feels mm -hmm. light. Mm -hmm. So now we understand that all of this time that she's been having communication issues have been because of Angela. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what lesson do we have to take from this today? Now understanding that she had her voice all the time. Yeah. That I can trust myself. Mm -hmm. And I can speak my mind. Mm -hmm. That no one is going to hurt me. No one's going to slice your neck. No one's going to slice my neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'd like for you now to show Maria as she talks to those in those workshops. As she tells them what they need to know. See yourself animated in front of the audience before you. Speaking your truth speaking your wisdom, channeling the source of information through you. Feel how it feels to be admired for that flow of knowledge, of wisdom. How it affects others. I 
does that feel? It, feel, it makes me feel warm. Mm -hmm. I feel warm inside. Very good. So I'd like for you to take that warmth and just remember it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as you see yourself in front of an audience now, tell me how that feels. I feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So now that we understand that, let's find out if there's any other blockages that are not allowing her to see past the present. Do a scan of her body, mind, and spirit, and see if there's any blockages there. I see something in her hip. All right. So let's take a look at the hip. Is it the right or the left? The right. All right. So let's zoom in on the hip, and let's see if it's something that she put there or something that's attached to her. Go ahead and identify that now. I like it's something she put there. All right, so let's find out what it is that she put there. Let's take a look at the shape, the color, the feeling, the size. What's in that right hip? She's afraid mm -hmm. of taking the next step. Mm -hmm. Feels like it's um, black. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'd like for you to focus on that fear of taking the next step. And I want you to amplify that fear. Make it even stronger. Feel yourself in that moment of needing to take the next step. And feel that fear intensifying, making it stronger with each breath that you take. And now, as you make it stronger, we're going to follow back the origin of where that began. Now that it is so strong, it will ride you. Let's follow it back. I'd like for you to go ahead and go back in time and ride that fear all the way to its origin. Allow the images to come. What is this fear? So I don't see anything. All right. Black. So we're going to focus on that fear, and I want you to come up with a phrase that describes this fear. Just don't do that. Don't do that. All right. So I want you to begin repeating out loud. Don't do that. Don't do that. Say it over and over again. Don't do that. Keep saying it until Don't you see do that. the image. Don't do that. 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 Don't don't do that. What do you see? Don't saying? do that. I see. Someone wants to jump, mm -hmm. and they're telling him not to. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. I don't think he's going to make it. Mm -hmm. He wants to jump to the other side, mm -hmm. but I'm telling him not to. Who is this that you're seeing? My friend, mm -hmm. we're playing. How old are you there? Um, like 10, 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Where is he jumping? He wants to jump across the river. Mm -hmm. But he's not going to make it. I'm telling him, don't do that. And he's still insisting. What happens next? And he jumped and he didn't make it. And now he's 
his body is going down the river and I'm running because I want to catch him but I can't and I'm repeating don't do that don't do that take, take a look at your body there what do you look like there I'm a young boy mm -hmm. brown hair I was so scared I'm crying and all I'm repeating is don't do that mm -hmm. I just lost my friend and I knew this would happen and I could have stopped him but he didn't listen. So let's find out how that life is affecting the lifetime of Maria. How do this, these souls know each other? Are they the same soul? Seems that way. Mm -hmm. And she remembers mm -hmm. and she wants to protect people she wants to make sure that they don't do the wrong thing mm -hmm. can you forgive yourself for not being able to stop this boy from doing what he was going to do yeah mm -hmm. Forgiving yourself doesn't mean that the action didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Forgiving yourself is stopping the pain. I'm going to put my hand over your heart and I want you to bring out all those feelings. Go ahead and pull them out. All that mm -hmm. guilt. Go ahead and say the words as these come out. What are you pulling out of there? Sadness. Mm -hmm. Blame. Mm -hmm. Guilt. Pull them all out. Fear. Pull them out. Not wanting to do anything now. Mm -hmm. Feeling sad. Hopeless. Pull it out. Pull it out. Just feeling stuck. Mm -hmm. Like I can't move. Pull it out. Feeling heavy. Pull it out. Pull it all out. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. Tell me when I have it all. Yeah. Let's pull it out. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. And now, I'd like for you to see that friend in front of you, the one that jumped. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to speak with him now. I wish I could have stopped you, but I knew I wouldn't. You always love doing things like this. You always love pushing your boundaries. And I just loved seeing you so much push your boundaries. I loved it, but this time I was so afraid. I knew something bad was going to happen, but I also knew that you were not going to listen to me. Take a deep breath in. What do you say back? I enjoyed my life. I had fun. I was free. I jumped and I ran and I did everything I could. I had a good time. And I know you wanted me to stop. And I know you were scared. But I I wasn't scared. I just doing what I always do. Pushing my limits and just going. So what would you like to say to this soul who is afraid now? of moving forward, of jumping forward. 
I want you to learn from me. Just go for a jump. You see how fun it is. You see how much I laugh and I smile. You see it. Now it's your time to do it. Now it's your time to just go for it mm -hmm. and jump. And it's fine. It's okay. There's always a cushion that holds you. Nothing bad's going to happen. Even when you think bad's going to happen, nothing bad ever happens. Just jump in. Very good. Take a deep breath in. And now that you've heard all of this, what would you like to put in your heart now? Are we ready to put some fun in there? Yeah. All right. So feel that fun coming in. Mm -hmm. Feel those giggles. Feel those pushing of the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Seeing how far you can take it. Seeing how much you can get away with. Knowing mm -hmm. that there is no danger. Feel that fun going mm -hmm. in. Bursting out. Almost bubbling like little giggles. <laughs> and I'm going to seal that in. Mm -hmm. Feel that fun. And now, take a look at that hip. Yeah. It feels like it's limber now. Mm -hmm. like it Very can move. Good. Very good. So go ahead and disconnect from that lifetime, leaving that lifetime behind. Now knowing that he no longer needs to feel guilty, that he now understands that he needs to have fun and push his limits, that there's nothing going to happen, nothing bad ever happens. Very good. So now, let's find out a little bit about why it is that this body came in with issues with adrenal glands. Let's go to the place where this body was selected going to count from five back to one and let's see why the soul selected a body with this congenital disease on five going back through time and space shopping for bodies four three Two and one. Be there now. Where are you? It looks like a big, big, like tall room. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I feel like they're telling me that I need to come. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who's telling you this. I I see tall. They're tall. Mm -hmm. And they have wearing robes. Mm -hmm. What do you look like there? I'm not as tall as they are. I feel like I'm female now, but I don't have a body. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's home in on the conversation. What is it that you need to do? Where do you need to go to? I just, I hear so many different conversations. Everybody's just... Mm -hmm. Talking back and forth, I can't listen to one or the other. Well, you're a multidimensional being. You could be in different places at different times. So you'll be able to capture what's going on and understand it. Allow yourself to just split up the conversations and just know. What's being discussed? Whether I should go now or later. Mm -hmm. 
some say to wait when there is a different family and others say no no this is this is good mm -hmm. this is good what is good about this family she gets to learn mm -hmm. and overcome obstacles in this life and one of them says that that's what I need that's what this body needs that's what this soul needs mm -hmm. does this soul know this family I feel like yeah we've been together before mm -hmm. so what is it lesson that you need to learn from this family be light and free mm -hmm. even though it's heavy you're gonna walk in and it's gonna be heavy and you're gonna be lonely But always remember to be light and free. What is the purpose of coming into this life with so many challenges? I, I hear that's what this is about. Mm -hmm. Overcoming challenges, overcoming obstacles. And knowing that in the end, it's always for the best. It's like you're jumping and then you get to the other side and you realize it wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. So these challenges that the soul needs to overcome, how is this going to help the soul? She'll get to share her story mm -hmm. and help others realize that they just have to go through it. And the other side is just free and it's light. Mm -hmm. But she has to go through those obstacles first in order for her to share and, and help and acknowledge those obstacles and others. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what is the first major obstacle that she's going to face? Herself. Mm -hmm. Seeing herself as that powerful person. Why would that be a challenge? Because she's been told that she's not. Mm -hmm. She's never been told that she's anything less than just to listen mm -hmm. and follow orders. Is that only in this lifetime or in others? some other ones too mm -hmm. so she's bringing that with her yeah so how can we today finally break her through and break her free of all of this karma it's time mm -hmm. i'd like for you to show her the power that she has show her her truth allow her to feel it Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to show her what she truly looks like as a soul with all this power. She's vibrant. She's emerald green. And she shines really bright. Mm -hmm. So as she shines how is her power affecting others around her? Others get to see that they are powerful too. Mm -hmm. They get to see that they can be powerful. So is she here to remind others of their power? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this why she is choosing to do these workshops? Yes. Mm -hmm. It helps her. Let's see why these workshops were in her life. 
What does she need to do with them now? Now that she knows her true power. She needs to come out as a leader. Mm -hmm. It's a powerful group. It's good. And she needs to let go of wanting to be right. Mm -hmm. And just jump in like her friend. Just jump in. She just needs to jump in and do it. Mm -hmm. She... So now that she's seen this, I want you to show her what she looks like leading this group. She looks confident, mm -hmm. peaceful. And fearless. Mm -hmm. And the more she feels that, the more her audience feels it about themselves. Mm -hmm. And she knows this. She knows that the more she feels it within herself, she ignites it in them. Mm -hmm. And she just takes that green energy all around to them and she pierces their hearts with this green energy it's a beautiful thing isn't it yeah mm -hmm. so when she does what she does is she being guided at the same time yeah let's take a look at who's guiding her who has come into this incarnation with her I see two angels. Mm -hmm. Allow them to step forward so she can see them. Who are these angels? Uh, I hear Michael. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I hear Patrick. Mm -hmm. How do they communicate with her? Mm -hmm. they, they say that she can hear us better now. Mm -hmm. But through thoughts. Through thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We tell her, we'll share things with her. And she's better at un like, listening to us now. Mm -hmm. What has made it improve? She's more aware of herself. Mm -hmm. And she's eating cleaner. She's eating better. And the more she takes care of herself, the more she's able to hear us. She can hear us more clearly. So what does she have to tell them today? Is there any message that she would like to tell these angels? Thank you for guiding me. And listen back for their reply. You're welcome. We're here for you. Mm -hmm. You've always been here since you were born. We know it's not easy, but we've been here protecting you and loving you. You're safe. Very good. So I'd like to ask, what is the reason for bringing Maria to this session today? What did you want to tell her? I want to tell her that she's so powerful. We are guiding her, we're protecting her. But she now chooses to live her power fully. And that she can really help a lot of people. And she doubts it sometimes when we're here to tell her there's no need to doubt. She knows she can do it. 
Is there anything that I did not ask that I could have asked that you would like to tell her? It seems like it's all been said. Very good. Are we complete? Yeah. Thank you very much. Feeling wonderful all over. Yeah, I feel peaceful right now. Mm -hmm. Feel good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it felt like? Like, mm, like 30, 40 minutes? Mm -hmm. We're on an hour and 20 minutes right now. Oh, wow. Now. <laughs> we got yeah, a lot done. It doesn't seem like that long mm -hmm. at all. At all. Wow. Buzzing? Let's switch those up. I'm going to give you some shungite to ground you. Oh, yeah. After a while, you don't feel these. Yeah. Nope. They become part of you. Yeah. So what do you think about this session? It was cool. <laughs> Is wow. this something that you expected? Not at all. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I didn't think I was going to see those things. <laughs> well, how would you know, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it seems that uh, some of these lifetimes were affecting you. Yeah. I could see how they could have... Yeah, I, I now see it. Mm -hmm. You held this guilt. Right. The guilt of don't do it, don't yeah, do it. Yeah. And you were telling yourself the same thing. Right. It's too dangerous. Yeah. To take risks. Mm hmm. So your whole life, you were basically playing it safe. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And your little buddy told you, go for it. Right. And I, I that's why I liked hanging out with him because I could see mm -hmm. and I just enjoyed watching him but go you were for living it. living through, through it. Through him. Yeah. I wasn't doing it. Right. So now he told yeah. you, you've got to do it. Yeah. Interesting, huh? How much I do that in my life, too. Mm -hmm. You did that. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I is this something that. you want to keep private or you want to share some of it? I don't, yeah, maybe some of it. See if it helps anybody. Mm -hmm. Up to you. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Here we are. Hi. <laughs> so how are you feeling? I feel good. I, I feel light. Yeah? My hip is fine. Mm. I got up and, I, and my hip is good. Yeah, I had, I was having pain in my hip for the past two months. Isn't that something? Yeah, and I don't have and it right now. And now you right understand. Now. Yeah. You had to move forward. Yeah, and I remember the throat. Like, I felt like like something was, was stuck blocking. there, like right before. And now you know, it was sliced open. Yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. it amazing? No, it, it really is, because I felt it. Like, I felt a knot. Yes. And then it was like gone. So one of the main reasons you came here was that you... We're afraid of speaking out. Yeah. Yeah. Does this make sense? It does completely. Like, I see it. I felt like something was Blocking holding me, you. preventing but, but me. But always. Since yeah. you were little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Basically, this entity was trying to keep you from getting in trouble. Right. Not speaking. Mm -hmm. Because you were going to speak your mind. You had all this power in you. Yeah, yeah. She saw that. Right. And said, mm. No, no. Isn't it amazing? I know. And she just wanted to protect me. And it's... That's all it is. Yeah. That's all it yeah. is. Wow. So how does your body feel in total? Like, do you feel buzzing? Do you feel bigger? Do you feel... What do you feel I like? Felt, I felt bigger. <laughs> yeah. Like, here. Uh-huh. Here. I yes. felt bigger and I felt um, peaceful and calm. Like, more than anything, I just felt light. Yes. Like, light and big. Light and big. Wow. You, yeah. you released a lot, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. So interesting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So what would you recommend to other people who are going to go through something like this? Any preparation or anything that you did? I I was meditating before mm -hmm. I, I, I came here. I was meditating mm -hmm. and it helped. Okay. Yeah, it helps to kind of ground myself mm -hmm. and to help with that calm. Like yeah. instead of my brain just going all over the place, it was like... And yeah. you put yourself into hypnosis, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. Yeah. I don't put you into hypnosis. Mm -hmm. You do. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. huh? It, it, it is. I 
it happened. It was just weird. And, and did, I you, just did you feel like you were hypnotized? No, no, no. What I did just, you feel like to you? It felt like I, like I was laying down and I was just relaxed with a friend talking to me. There you go. Yeah. Like it didn't but feel. But where would you come up with all this right, stuff? Right. Exactly. Huh? Where would I come up with all this <laughs> stuff? <laughs> so if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albaweinman.com. Click on the hypnosis tab. Under there, you will see newsletter. Sign up for that newsletter. It comes out about once a month. And when it does, you got to be fast, mm-hmm. right? Very much. Like I've that. been waiting for a while. <laughs> yeah. How long did you have to wait? Probably about a year and a half. There you go. Yeah. But she's here. Mm-hmm. So don't give up Made hope. It. If you get that newsletter, click on it. And I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Bye. Now I'm getting it out. <laughs>